So I'll start by creating this square, then I'll create this line. At Let's the pretend eight. like we're coming 90 degrees off of parietal ridge. Not so I spray that on, gives me shine, also allows my hands to Today is about condensed cutting. What is condensed cutting? It's taking sections and really condensing them down to cut more hair at once. Um, I like these techniques for really all hair types. Um, in curly hair, straight hair, thick hair, skinnier hair. It really just depends on what you're going for. So what I do is I break down the head into multiple quadrants that I'm going to condense and cut. So I really plan out the cut before I start cutting. All right, so let's break down the sectioning that we did. So what I did was I created a square on top of the head first, um, really following along that parietal ridge area on both sides back to the apex. So when I turn here, you guys can see that it's basically a line that follows from the hairline here all the way up the head around the apex and then back down the other side. Uh, and that's how I split it. So I'll start by creating the square, then I'll create this line at the apex. Then uh, from there, I take a vertical section or parting straight down the center back, and then I split it across the occipital bone on both sides. And then that gives me these top two sections and then my bottom section. We have to look at not only our vertical line, but also our horizontal line that we're creating. So if I pull everything up, that's affecting the vertical line. If I shift it over and up, now we're affecting the horizontal and vertical line. So if I want to push weight in different ways horizontally, then I'll pull away from it. And when I pull away from a spot, it pushes extra weight to the opposite side. So now I'm deciding, now what length do I want these layers to be within the cut to begin with? So we look at the interior, the shortest point that's gonna be about right here. I comb this hair up over towards me on the other side of the chair. So right here, watch as I comb up and over. Make sure the hair is nice and tight. I'm gonna pull the hair up towards me and I'm gonna cut a line straight across the top. Now I'm deciding at this point how short I want those interior layers to be. So when I drop this hair down, we've now got layers. The shortest point is here. That's the shortest layer. And then when, as I comb it down, we've now layered that entire section with a balanced line into the rest of the length. Now we move over. I grab out this section here. Now, what is happening to the layers? Like what kind of layers are we really creating? Because we're cutting this technically horizontal. So sometimes it's hard for people to envision what those layers look like. So now that I comb this out, we've already cut the entire back to check and really just to show you guys, because you don't really have to check condensed cutting, to show you guys the layers that we created. So look at, see this kind of, it's just like cutting basically straight up in the air, but you're doing it condensed and you're not having to worry about the shape because you've already created your shape horizontally and now you've got the hair that goes short to long. My old knees making sounds. So right here, hold the hair down. And now because I've elevated everything up and already cut it, it takes away density from the bottom. So that allows me to kind of quickly just come in here and flatten out this line. What I would typically do is use my, uh, my client's back and just go through and cut my line. If I wanted it to be a little bit more rounded, I would cut it round. If I wanted it to be balanced and straight, I'd keep it that way. All right, so we got a couple more sections. Let me slow things down for you guys. So we've got one and two on each side. And what I'm gonna do is I can decide, do I want to elevate this a lot or do I wanna drop the elevation because it's on the side now? What do I mean by that? There's less density from this point here in the temple to this point here. And now, I need to decide what my length is going to be. So a couple different things you can do. If you want the same length as the sides, you can cut your guide from the side. So go here, drop this hair down, 
Now, flip this up and I can cut myself a blunt line using a tiny bit from the back. I can give myself a blunt edge. Now that I have this blunt edge, I can lift it up here. And once I lift it up, it becomes more diffused. But now that I know what length I want, I can lift it up and then I can harden this edge by just cutting a little bit more into it. Now I can take the rest of this uh, section, elevate it. Again, let's pretend like we're coming 90 degrees off of parietal ridge, not going straight up uh, on the head shape. I'm coming straight out. All right, so same thing on this side. Then it's important this step, make sure that you lift the side up to give yourself a stronger guideline, okay? When you cut it blunt, you get a blunt line down here, but then you get a shattered line when you lift because that's not how you cut it. So now you're going against that and now you're showing off what the layering effect is gonna look like. Just on the top edge of this. So look where it gets, where it's strong in, within the, the uh, section. Look where it's strong and look where it gets weak. Just cut off the weak. Leave some of, like where it's strong, you gotta leave that, otherwise you'll end up with shorter uh, hair than you had. Okay, now here's something fun that I like to do on this top section. You got a lot of options, right? And you got to figure out how does your guest wear her hair? Does she wear it um, off to one side? Does she wear it in the middle? Today, we're going to go center parting because that seems to be uh, the trend with all the uh, peeps out there right now. So uh, center wise, we're going to go into the middle like this, just like that. Comb this hair up into the center. Now what happens when I condense this entire section into the center? I cut and get that concave layer effect coming off of it because we're pinching everything together, right? So it's gonna give me that layered effect, which I want. It's gonna give me a balanced effect, which I want. Uh, if I wanted to have a little shorter in the front, I could just go towards the front a little bit more. That would give me a shorter bit of layers towards the front, longer into the back. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow it dry using my favorite Paul Mitchell products. We're gonna blow dry this thing, give it a little style, possibly do some dry cutting depending on the end result, how we're feeling about it. All right, so I'm using a little bit of Paul Mitchell sculpting foam, one of my all time favorite products. Another product I'm gonna use, one of my favorites is a little thicken up. Uh, this is a great product to add a little bit of volume, a little pop to the hair. I wanna put this at the base a little bit. 